guys, I need your help right now. We're almost at 30k subscribers. If we hit that milestone, that means we can use our own exclusive emotes during the live streams. So guys, please head down, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like, use your grandma's account, subscribe, whatever you can. Let's get those emotes, boys. Welcome everyone. Today I will show you how to use Easy Overlay. Since I only introduced it but I really didn't show you guys how to use it. So the GitHub page will be in the description so you can just click the link here. Click on the code button and download the zipped so the master file or folder. Now extract this to wherever you want, as long as you can find it again. And when you have done that, it should look something like this. Here, click the solution file, easyoverlay.solution. It will look like this. When you're here, just build it, build easy overlay, or control B. So this text should should pop out and now you can close this one and if you look here now click on the folder easy overlay and bin debug now should be easy overlay dll here which you can drag on to wherever you want which we can use so now Visual Studio we will create a new program when we're using easy overlay.dll so windows forms up uh, overlay let's test with microsoft store why not So now, you will have this, we can check the design later, but now, when we want to use our DLL, click on References, right click, Add Reference, Browse, now just find your EC Overlay, uh, there we go, mine was on the desktop. So now it's going to be located here, easy overlay in the references, and now we can use it like this. And now we declare it because new easy. So we will use the keyword easy when we use its functions. Now go to the form.load void which you get by double clicking on the form and write this check for illegal cross thread calls equals false because it will change things between threads we need to have this one set to false for it to work otherwise it would just end the program now easy dot set invisible this contains a lot of things which changes the transparency key and the color background color of the form so if you change the color here it will not work later you would just set it to wheat and set the transparency key to wheat so it will be invisible that's why it's set invisible so also it makes it click through so you cannot click anywhere on the form so if you have a checkbox you cannot click in it now I've added this start loop which is uh, it starts a thread which 
update the location of the form because it the location of the f form this one sets to the window we want and this loop keeps it up to date so you can enter three arguments frequency window name and form so first of all we will set it to 10 milliseconds until it updates and window name it's so to find it out you hover over the process so it's Microsoft Store uh, let's double check yeah Microsoft Store and to the form we just type this because this is the form <laughs> this form alright so now we can test by starting it you will not see anything because it's invisible it's actually over the Microsoft Store window so to check if it's there we can add a panel let's just change the color back color active border I use this a lot and let's start it so now you can see a grey box which is exact like the form we made here is on the Microsoft Store uh, really neat so the only bad thing if you ask me about this for example if we add a sh checkbox here let's just change the text to hack <laughs> so now if we start it if you click you cannot click in it since we set it to so we can click through otherwise you you will not be able to have it over a process at least in this method so to use these checkboxes then you will have to create hotkeys which you just have to create a new thread and set the loop through hotkeys there with get async key state if you want a tutorial on that well just write it in the comments I guess but this is it how you use easy overlay only three or oh, never mind four lines of code really nice so questions just post them in the comments see you guys